going going live a bit early. Uh, how do I find that again? It didn't work the other time. Grooveroonies, Grooveroonies. Oh man, I lost, I lost a uh, sub. How do I find that again? It didn't work the other time. Oh shit, hang on, mute. Well, that says nine people are watching. I wonder if that's... You're here! Hi Kerry! I hope I haven't... I hope this isn't overriding the other one. Like I hope the other one gets saved because it hadn't uploaded yet. Mm -hmm. Oh well, if I have to do another one for David... I'll do it, man. It's not letting me save. Because I changed it midstream and it won't let me save. Hi, Tanny. Yeehaw, Robbie. <laughs> I love the black hearts. They're nice. Oh, they're red on the screen up there. Should be there. Yeah, I think, fingers crossed, Tanny. I hope we haven't lost it because it was so funny with you, obviously, talking about single serve bottles of wine and um, Mel Mel's butt pimple. <laughs> it was so funny. I do get very... Um, because it's saying I'm live now with this one, but I can't see. God, it's been a week since I went live too. All right. I can't see the other one, but I know Streamlabs, it's a bit of a delay setting it all up and everything. Now it's getting cold in here. I'll put the heating on. Just give me a sec. Stick cranking out the heat. It's just been uh, an empty house for a week, so it's a bit chilly. Better. Um, let me click on that so I can read what you monkeys are chatting about. Oh, that's okay. We started a new one. It should save. Save, Robbie. It's funny how um things just sort of disappear into the ether and then suddenly they're there. It's punch. I'm putting the punch back on for a moment because it's bit chilly that was fun though it was hilarious tanny thanks megan's birdie i like my little home it's um i am in the process of minimalizing but um i am sticking to the rule of you know keep things that bring you joy and a lot of things bring me joy <laughs> but thank you i kind of like retro -y sort of stuff i've got all kinds of things it's a bit of a mismatch of different styles i guess I know, Tanny, it, it, it's, I'm not so clear now. Huh. Looks okay on the screen. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> yeah, Karina, I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But it's obviously you've been getting notifications, so that's good. That's excitement. But we're doing the Bella Box. Which ones of you Groovers love the Bella Boxes? Oh, these little ones. BB. I love the Bella Boxes. Yeah, there's a few channels that I get notifications for after they've been, you know, they've gone live and done their thing and then switched off. I've still got a bit of a headache because I don't think I've eaten enough food. But it's 8.30 now. I might have to make some Vegemite toast or something. I knew you loved them, Megan's Betty. I knew there was someone that really loved them. I love them too. They're great. I use everything I get in them. They've put me onto so many cool products. I can't remember which one I got the active layer in. It might have been... 
can't remember. Was it my Retreat Yourself box or the Goodness Me box? I can't. The Goodness Me Beauty box. I can't remember. Bloody stoked though. I'm looking over there because that's where the box of single serve wines are. You're buffering too, Tanny. Yeah, it might be you, I think, my love. Because save Robbie's giving it the thumbs up. Speaking of. Hey, I lost a sub. I lost quite a few subs, but um, because I've been doing anything. I've really got to spend some time judging everything up. I've got to go back through videos and put proper descriptions and I'm learning stuff. But I lost a sub between going live before and going live now. That sucks. Oh, the boxer you're carrying. I love it too. In fact, I've got a few boxy snacks. I still haven't eaten this little, the little orange cake. I've still got that. And what else? I've still got my little Ziploc bag of those little lemony things. That box was lovely. It was all citrusy and delicious. That's a little boxy Bicky that I kept for my lunch boxes those are oh, they're yummy these little um lemon sake flavored candies they're really nice it's fun coming home and rediscovering all the little snacks i haven't eaten there's all sorts of shit in here my snack box is full to overflowing but i have resubscribed to boxy because i do love boxy and the teas oh my god the last tea i got i can't remember the flavor of it but i took it with me to adelaide and it was it was like the most special occasion tea ever. I ended up doing a little tea ceremony and I've got a little Japanese book called Ikigai that I absolutely love and I read that while I sipped on this tea and oh, I was, Japan's the next country I'm exploring. I haven't done Japan yet, I can't wait. And there was a magazine I was reading today about, um, I really love health and wellness retreats. Um, but there's one that you can do in Japan and it's like a yoga retreat but you actually hike during the day and you get to another little sort of temple and little place where you stay and then you do lots of yoga and eat amazing food. So it's a bit more outdoorsy. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, I'm too scared to Google. It'll probably be 10, 10 grand or something, but it's on my um, bucket list for sure. You've never done a box. What kind of box, Robbie? I know you've had a girlfriend. So a subscription box, perhaps. Oh, you lose three to five each time you upload it. Mm. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. I love my subs. The people that come in and chat to me are my buddies. It's so nice to hang out with you guys. Spirit box. A manscaping box. Oh my God, can you imagine? What are you cooking, Mel Mel? Oh, you probably can't type. You're probably back to the cooking again. You're doing your yoga now. Good girl. The tush mole. <laughs> Gotta say, pimples on your bum hurt. Pimples in your nostril hurt too. The downward dog tanny. Great position. My yoga instructor a few years ago, when you're doing the downward dog, you really do need to point your butt to the sky. And she said, imagine you've got a flashlight, like a torch stuck in your butt. And you want it to shine up into the sky. That's how you get into the right position with the downward dog. And we used to laugh all the time. She'd be like, make those flashlights shine. I got a butt plug in one of my subscription boxes, Robbie. It's over there, back there. I've got a box for, of things for Mel Mel. But I don't want to send it till it's completely full of shit. 
Um, I could send her the escape the crate. No, I want to do this. I'm going to work out how we can make it more enjoyable because it was actually very clever. I did like the escape the crate, but and this is about Bella Box. Let's get her out of here. Let's open her up and see what's in here. Oh, Carrie, do you? I um, I love hot stone massage. Well, Lomi Lomi is my favourite massage in the entire massage thing, but hot stone, very close second. And I had cupping last week. I've got an acupuncturist and she does cupping as well. That's fascinating. She took a photo of my back um, to show the different colours, you know, for things reacting. So like where my lung spots were, they hardly even showed. And because of my burnout, my poor little liver has just been working overtime. So the liver spots are really dark. And then the kidney spots, one side was normal and the other was quite dark. It was fascinating. And when I say quite dark, I mean, it wasn't like the really dark. But it was obvious which organs were struggling. Lamb cutlets, rosemary carrots and beans and roasted potatoes. Yum. Damn it. I should have jumped on a plane your way instead of coming this way. Probably would have got to Perth quicker than I got to Hobart. Full of shit. Um, no idea what I was talking about. So much butt talk, always. Well, actually, normally we're gen more genital talk, but we have spoken penises in Mel Mel's earlier. There's been a lot of box chat chatter in mine, and yeah, a lot of butt, a lot of butt talk. Shitload of butt, look, butt talk. You dirty bastards. Thank God I'm pure and sweet. With bad manners because I'm eating with popcorn in my mouth. I do like this though. Next time I'll do a whole video just on the messy monkeys popcorn. Well, I can't because I've eaten it all now, but. Okay. I'm going to see what the first thing is that comes out of the little Bella box. So here's the little Bella box. And I love these little boxes. They're cute if you've got like a little gift to give to someone. They're a cute little box, but most of them I kept because you get a lot of travel size stuff with these and I'm super organised. So like I've got one that's got lip balms in it, another one that's got face masks. In fact, I've got two boxes with face masks and all the little products. And it just, for when I'm packing to go away, it's so easy just to open each one up and grab little bits and pieces. So yeah, cute little box. People eat lamb, they sure do. What did ever happen to Joey the Vag? I don't know. I don't know what happened to Joey the Vag. I haven't seen him forever. Good question, Mel Mel. Oh, look, I'm eating popcorn. Can we not talk about crampons and butt plugs? Jesus, guys. Seriously. I don't even want to know what a crampon is. Seriously. Don't even tell me. It took two hours to get no. Can we not? But yeah, Joey the Vag, where are you? Come back, we miss you. She's one of my mods. Joey the Vag Wilson, where are you? She's probably disappointed in me because I was going to do a true crime channel a long time ago before all of the true crime channels that are getting demonetized on YouTube. I do have an idea though. The bad thing about popcorn is when you get to the bottom of the bag and it's all the unpopped bits. I'm probably going to break a tooth shortly. That's what I've got, Keza. Adrenal fatigue and... Mm. Right, I can't eat any more popcorn. 100%, I mean, it's all gone now, it's all kernels. 100% Australian, 100% natural, 100% lunchbox friendly. Um, yeah, adrenal fatigue, anxiety, which I've never had, like, um, 
debilitating anxiety, which I've never had before. Um, something else I've got too. And also I've got a histamine problem and that flared up because my immune system was trying to fight the adrenal fatigue. It's oh, Yeah, it's been lovely. It's good to learn it all and learn how to manage it, but it's been like all these new symptoms and things going on I've never had to deal with before and just sort of fixing them one by one. But the acupuncture and um, cupping is my favourite thing. And I even get really lovely little head massages because she does, she sticks a few needles in my head and then I get these beautiful head massages. Oh, it's lovely. I love going and I just love talking to her because she's got all these Chinese sayings and stuff and they're just so smart. They just have, they just have a philosophy that's so clever and why we're not all soaking it up and getting on with it is beyond me. Fuck day life, Tanny, I hate it. And I don't hate anything. I'm not going on D Live. Yeah. I don't really hate it. It's just not my thing. Don't like me no likey. It's um for starters, the black and yellow really messes with my sight and I find it really full on when people are using all the gifts and I don't like it. <laughs> I haven't been on D Live for a long time. I had some Leno to get rid of and I found these two guys sucking on the gigantic bong playing games and I gave them quite a few lemons and ice creams and then they um, they were just dickheads. And so then I found a, another channel was this chick who was just doing like a, a DJ mix, so like just playing all these ace tunes. I made it rain on her, made it rain. But yeah, it's not, you know... Everyone's got their thing. Everyone's got their place. Um, I think if you want to make money D Live at the moment, it's probably where you go. But they're going to end up doing what YouTube's done at some point. So yeah, I'm happy to stay on the tubes. I mean, I'd love to be able to play music, but because I always have music playing when I'm not live on YouTube. But you know. Thanks, Robbie. You're cute. Hit the likes. You sweet dreams to you, beautiful Robbie, and I love you. I'm I'm aging disgracefully too, Tanny, and I'm glad that you love D Life. It relaxes you. Yeah, I'm with you, Robbie. It's poop. Your iPad's too old, Megan's birdie. Well, I mean, it's like a um. I don't know, the other thing about DLive is I don't think you can keep your videos or they're not visible after seven days or something. Like, I love it when I find old YouTube stuff from like, YouTubers that were doing things a decade ago. Watch this, watch this into Jay and Oni on DLive, Karina. Yeah, I, I saw Molly go lightly trying to do like a pole dance kind of thing one time and I was just like, well, okay, that's interesting. I did a music quiz on Oni's channel once. But, I, I mean, I've, I've just had a massive social media blackout and all things, you know, so a lot of stuff had to go, especially new things. I wasn't attached to that, so it was quite easy to let go of that one first. There's just, there just too much going on. A bit like Robbie, there are too many things going on and you just went, not waste, but you spend all this time dealing with all the online stuff and at the same time you're missing out on spending time with friends and family or I mean I was already exhausted just wasn't yeah no nah. but you know if people love it great good on you off you go I'm gonna actually check out twitch not that I need another platform I'm just gonna check it out well Tanny I can always play um where are you though Kerry I can't remember. Tell me where you are. Because a, a massage that's healing physically, mentally and spiritually just sounds absolutely divine. Oh, Robbie's got a new song. I'll check that out after this. You can watch replays. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, Karina. <laughs> They do get deleted after seven days until you, yeah, okay, a higher level, yeah. But anyway, 
Oh yeah, it's it's if people are into it, that's awesome. Not don't have an issue with anyone loving it. I just don't need it. I've got enough crap going on in my life right now. I want to have a massage with Kerry right now. That's what I want. Are you in Melbourne? I can't remember where you are, Kerry. Are, are you in London? Where are you? I can't remember. It's only because my brain's a bit cloudy at the moment. But um. I will check out his new song, Vivian, for sure. Maybe your blood sugar wasn't good. Anyway, this is a little cute little Bella box of tissue papered surprises. And you get the little thing and it's Beauty Snap is the name of the box. I don't want to see what's on the back, but that's the little postcard that came with it. And on the back it tells you what the products are and what they cost so we'll look at that at the end first out of the box model co highlighting shimmer whip champagne all right okay i can't read a fucking thing hang on can i turn this on does that help not really that's as bright as it's gonna go shimmer whip I'm going to have to turn the overhead light on. Get ready, everyone. I'm going to look like a bloody ghost. I am going to look like a ghost. But we, I want to be able to read what this is. Okay. Highlighting Shimmer Whip is your secret weapon... For highlighting and adding luster to your skin, a lightweight liquid luminizer that glides onto skin effortlessly, creating a subtle strobing effect that leaves the skin looking radiant and healthy. For a subtle all-over glow, simply mix your foundation and highlighting shimmer whip together for highlights. Apply on the top of the cheekbones, down the centre of your nose, and on the brow bone. Well, I need an ass. All the butt jokes. Keep them coming, Karina. So this is. Oh, sorry. Here's the box. I don't. I'm not. I don't have foundation to mix with with it. But that's the brand Model Co. Does this one focus better? Yes, it does. Oh, that's all back to front though, because it should be that way. Hang on. Highlighting Shimmer Whip. All right, who knows how we use this? I think Robbie has passed out. He said he was passing out. So it says to mix it with foundation, but I'm not going to, but just for laughs, um, it says to Put it on the top of the cheekbone, down the centre of your nose and onto the brow bone. Is this your brow bone there? Mix with foundation, yes. You were lost after the first few words. There's a lot of words, Tanny, um, but it's your secret weapon, so that's all you need to know. I don't know what this means either, but let's just have some fun with it. So... It's not, it's a little sample probably. I don't think this is a full thing, like a full size product. But, oh, it's gilded jizz. It's jizz of the gilded nature. Look at that. Let's just put some, what, down the centre of my nose. Let's do that. I don't think this is how you're meant to use it, but I'm in it for laughs. Presumably, you put your foundation on normally and then at the end mix some of this in with your foundation and highlight. Look at that. I look like something out of Star Trek. It certainly is adding shimmer. 
there's no denying. And just to be complete with the experiment, I'll just put a little bit on my cheekbones. And one of you, someone will go, do it lower, but no, my cheekbone's right there. It's just hard to see it because of the bags. But thankfully, I've got more active layer. What do you think, Groovers? Has that added luster and luminosity? Do I sparkle? I definitely do sparkle. I'm trying to even it out a bit. <laughs> It's very nice. It's a nice soft mousse. I'd like, I actually would really like to try it out with my foundation. I'm so sorry, model car. I'm not taking the piss. It's kind of cool. But I'll see what the advice is. I always like putting shit on my face and then seeing what you all tell me to do because I always get it wrong. A uh, little bit. Jizz from the gods. Blend, blend. Looks like a penis. Rub it. In your fingers first well I didn't want them to absorb it I've been flying my body's soaking up any sort of moisture at the moment so I thought I'd just do the for the laughs but I think that'll be fun to experiment with um, with my foundation model co I might even do it's I might get its own little video now we're learning how to you know attract attention so that's the first little product out of the box. Highlighting Simmer Shimmer Whip and the colour is Champagne. I am sparkling. It would be good with foundation, Megan's Birdie. I'm really keen to try it out. I mean, I'm up, I don't know, am I too old for this shit? Clearly I don't have foundation on at the moment. I've just stuck it straight onto my head, but... It makes me feel like a glass of champagne. Maybe we're doing this in honour of Vivian's dad. They're drinking champagne and I'm putting champagne sparkles on my face. Did Kerry get back to me and say where she is, by the way? Kylie always knows about blending. She always corrects me and tells me I've done things wrong. She teaches me a lot. Kerry didn't say where she is. Uh, put it under foundation first and foundation gives you a glow. Like me, a dried prune. Huh? What's, what's that in response to, Tani? Oh, that you absorb everything, I'm hoping. Um, I think it'd be better to mix it with my foundation. I wouldn't put it under it. And it's a little tube. It's not huge. So you don't want to use too much of it. But we'll see at the end what that costs. But that's kind of fun, maybe. You know, for like, maybe when I do stand-up comedy or if I'm going to something in the evening and I want a bit of sparkle. But clearly I wouldn't do it as I did just before. That's more for entertainment purposes. High class for Megan. Anyway, so that was the first product. Cool. Cool. Fun. Second product out of the box. Uh, Liar. A potent eye serum roller. Uh-oh. Have we got something competing with um, Active Layer? Liar. Liar. Uh, tell them your real age. They'll never believe you. Liarbeautyboost.com. A potent eye serum roller and it is definitely a roller so here we go i shall give it a little shake dry prune okay gotcha liar so is this is this competing with um active layer so i'm assuming this just goes under the eyes right there's no oh it's nice and cold there's no instructions on it See, my camera wasn't actually giving away the lack of bags now that I've got a, an overhead light bang right on top of me. I probably should have set up a lamp. I need to get one of those ring light things. I was told to get one of those a long time ago and I never did. It's nice and soothing and it's cold. That's kind of funky little, you know, travel size tube as well. 
So I've applied it. Maybe we can review it at the end and see if it's made a difference. Unless I haven't done this right. Does anyone want to tell me what you're meant to do with this? You're staying quiet. Don't you dare, Tanny Mitchell. Liar. Potent eye serum. Liar. <laughs> I love the name. Tell them you're real age. They'll never believe you. Liarbeautyboost.com. It's kind of funky little package, right? And weirdly, I ran out of eye cream a few weeks ago. So I reckon using my little active layer things during the seven day challenge and then having this little serum as well. Happy days. Uh, no, it doesn't feel sticky. It's yummy. It's like, um, I'll see what it's like now, actually. It's, a, it's already gone in. My, it's, it's already been absorbed. Oh, just lost the lid. <laughs> Here we go. Um, it just feels like a really nice, lightweight sort of serum. I'm tempted to see if anyone asks me my age. I think it goes nicely with the, with the gilded shimmer upon my forehead. What a look. I've got a golden forehead and we'll see if the liar has done anything by the end of this video. I could keep it in the fridge, Megan's Betty. That's where I keep my eye patches and stuff, you know, like face, some of my face masks, not all of them, um, but the little eye patch things that you do, they're in the fridge. And my aloe cream for when I get sunburnt in summer, not sunburnt, but sun-kissed. But that's actually cold. That little container's keeping it nice and cold. It's yummy. Me lucky. We do all need the help, we can, all the help we can get. Next thing out of the box, oh, Coco and Eve, like a virgin, super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. Well, I won't be trying this out right now. Coco and Eve, like a virgin. All of these products have got the grievous names. We've got Model Co, highlighting Shimmer Whip. We've got Liar, and now we've got Like a Virgin, Coco and Eve. So that's a hair mask, and it restores damaged hair, improves shine and texture, hydrates and tames frizz. So you do your shampoo, then you whack it through once you've dried it with your towel, leave it for five to ten minutes, and then rinse. I might do a... I might do a review of that, see how we go. Bit of fun. Nice, it's a nice thing to do. I like doing hair things. So there you go, groovy. Your bags are bigger than Scottish bagpipes. Hi, D90. Yeah, liar product. I thought you were in Victoria. I thought you were in Victoria, Kerry. I don't know what... My brain, honestly, at the moment is just all over the shop. I mean, I've got jet lag. I just flew over the ocean. I've actually got to get off here soon and unpack and because I'm working tomorrow. Oh, it jizzed. It jizzed, man. It's a bit of jizz. Coconut and fig. I can smell the coconut. Yum. I'll just rub that into my hand. Yep, well, that'll be a little thing. I've actually got friends of mine sent me and I haven't done it yet because I'm a bit embarrassed about going live in the shower, but I realise I can wear bathers or something. Um, like a little hair product massage -y thing. And together with this, I could put this in and use that little thing and do two reviews in one. Oh, I've got a singing bowl. I, brought, I bought it when I was in Mongolia. I love it. I think we'd get on very well, Carrie. I mean, we do, but, you know, like if we were hanging out. Weight methods to relax the body, Reiki singing bowl. Yeah, 90-minute sessions. Oh, my God. Can you fly here now? <laughs> Tanny, stop the... Yeah, you had four kids using your brown paper bags. It didn't work very well at all, clearly. 
She is a goddess of a woman, I agree, Megan's birdie. So that's a nice little thing to do. Anyway, let's move along. What else have we got? We've got a Revlon. Oh, this is a um, keratin shampoo from Revlon. Be fabulous. My, my best mate in Hobart's a hairdresser, so... And my best mate in Adelaide's a hairdresser, so they probably wouldn't be too happy with this. But it's a little travel size sample, and I don't like hotel um, shampoos and conditioners, so there might be, a, I'm assuming there'll be a conditioner sachet as well. I might as well peek. No, there's not. So I wonder if this is like a apply to damp hair and lather, rinse well. So it is truly a shampoo. Maybe I could use those together. There's two more things in here by the looks of it. There's Subi. Oh, Mel Mel. I've got a product for you. Subi Perfect Pimple Patch. How, look, look how funny. Look how cool the packaging is. I love it. Look. Subi Perfect Pimple Patch. So this is probably a patch you stick on your pimple. Say goodbye to pimples with a fast-acting hydrocolloid pimple patches. Transparent patches help to reduce inflammation, absorb secretions, repair blemishes, and protect skin for faster healing. So it's probably more for your face, but you could stick that on your butt. A pimple patch. Oh my god, who's got a beard? Tanny. You guys are hilarious. It is shiny. It's a shiny pimple patch for your butt. Your butt spot. Your butt seat. Um I wonder if it's just one oh it's 18 patches. Made in South Korea. There's 18 patches in this thing. Drug free. Oh, it's drug free and cruelty free. It's got the little cruelty free bunny rabbit logo. I love that. Um, there's 18 of them in here. South Korea. Groovy. I don't have pimples, so I might have to see. <laughs> this might be going in the box to you, Mel Mel. I just love it for the packaging. Imagine if you had fingernail polish like that. You'd go ballistic. You'd go ballistic. Bend over, Mel. Get your bottom ready. Pimple patch. Everyone's in stitches. <laughs> Where else? Where's Mel Mel gone? We've got it for you, babykins. We've got the product. Where are you? <laughs> I'm so... Th I mean, I'm trying to fill out your box and I keep getting things like this. This is not going to fill the box up. But there's 18... So if you get 18 pimples on your butt, you're sorted. D-Rod, hello. You walk right in while we're talking about pimples on butts. How are you this evening or this morning, D-Rod? <laughs> yeah, good. Are you happy? Do you have a pimple on your butt? If so, we can help you out. All right. There's a Hello Fresh. 40% off your first box voucher, which would be lovely, except I don't think HelloFresh actually delivers down this way. Um, but I do know people that have used HelloFresh and they love it. But, yeah, 40% off, that's kind of cool. So I might find a friend who's keen to do HelloFresh because, I mean, I love cooking and buying everything and making it all from scratch. Um, but these are the mob that deliver to your door and it's all in like meal kits and you put it all together. So that's that. Um, there's an ingredients card. Oh, and there's one more. That's, I didn't get a um, conditioner. There's an ingredients card, but we won't go into that. There's Luna by Luna. And it's an eyeshadow. Look at it. Look at the cute little box that's in... And I'm hoping it's a I'm hoping it's a colour that I would wear because I can't do 
Let's set it up now and see what it is. I can't do p uh, purples, pinks, reds, or not whether you do red eyeshadow, orangey. I can do browns, like neutral sort of colours, but anything to I can do like um some blues, the sort of 70s blues I can actually pull off. I think because I've got blue eyes, I don't know, but I can kind of do that groovy 60s, 70s blue. I can do white, but I can't do coral, pink, bright blue, bright green, any of those sort of colours. You've used HelloFresh Megan's Birdie. Did you like it? Yeah, good for busy people. Correct, Vivian. And I've... Look, I looked into it because um, at one point I was only home for like two or three days and it's it's actually quite a challenge to buy food because I like to cook for 100 people and it's really hard to, for me to buy just the, just the basic food that I need. I always buy too much. It doesn't matter. I mean, I used to freeze them so I'd have left, you know, like I could have quick meals when I got home. I just defrosted in the sink because I don't have a microwave. Um but when this histamine thing kicked in, like I can't have defrosted, reheated food. It's really bad for me because leftovers in itself have a much higher histamine level. But then if you put it in the freezer, it goes even higher. So And they call it old food. Um, so I looked at it because I thought, oh, that'd be wicked if I could just go online and I'm home for five days and just have that food delivered and then off we go again. D-Rod doesn't think he's ever had a pimple on his butt. D-Rod, you're a, was D-Rod a chick? Have I just called D-Rod a dude? I can't thought D-Rod was a dude. D-Rod, sorry D-Rod, you are a lady. I just called you a dude. But I'm glad you've never had a pimple on your butt. Um, So, let's see what flavour. It's Well, it says it's Juliet. There's a little tiny sticker there that says Juliet. What colour will it be? Pink, probably. Luna by Luna eyeshadow. Oh, I think I'll wear it. It's a neutral. It's a neutral colour. Look at the cute little pot that it's in. So cute. Because I've just run out of a brownie colour that I loved. And I've still got the darker highlighter that I put with it. That's quite pale. It looks pale. There, it's darker in the flesh than it is there. Probably because of the light. If I pull it back a bit, you might get a... Well, actually, let's just put some on. Oh, it's, it's shimmery. I still have some eyeshadow on from today, actually. So it may not be giving you the real... It's not. It's it's going over my darker brown that I already had on. But I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> I don't even know if my face is in the camera at the moment or not. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy eyes. Oh gosh, look at that. I'm tired. I should get to bed. I'll put some on my hand. It is quite pale. It's not unlike the stuff I, the penis I drew on my face earlier with the shimmer. There, can you see that? No, it's, that light's too bright. Hmm. I don't know how to show it to you. Just take it from me. It's a cute little pot. It's not really, really dark. But I'll experiment with it a bit. I like it. I like it a lot. And it's blue, which is really nice. Little container. So there you go. There's my Bella box. Um, it costs me not a lot. Uh, there's a Bella box. So it's... $19.95 a month um, and I yeah I try and use everything that I get I'm thinking the Bello box is probably for the dudes Bello box I wonder if they do to 
the United States of America. Robbie could be a bellow box boy. Men's box, a grooming box built for you. Wouldn't that be cool? It's $30 a quarter, six to eight grooming sample products. But I don't know if Bella ships overseas. Oh, hang on, if I go there. Shipping and returns. I think it's only within Australia. Hmm. You can, yeah, it's only available to residents of Australia. And if there are any products that you like that you get samples of, you can buy the full samples straight off their website, which is really handy. Um, so, now I've lost you, Groovers. Come back, where are you people? Come back. Okay, found ya. Oh, toothpaste is good for pimples on your butt. Uh, a roid, holy shit. Worst pimple ever had on a panty line. Yeah, they're not good. I haven't had one of those for many, many, many years, thank God. But, ooh, they were bad. Um, Everyday colours, correct. Do I wear makeup? Um, yes, I do, Vivian. Can you, can't you tell? I'm wearing shimmer, champagne shimmer and stuff. Yeah, I do, but my face absorbs it throughout the day. Um, but I don't, when I do wear it, it's not full on heavy. But I love doing eyeshadow. I don't use eyeliner. I do use mascara. Um, I do use foundation, but it's a mineral base, so it's not really like full on. You can still see freckles and stuff through it. I use a mineral powder. I've got little mineral bronzers that I use sometimes. But I'm not mm -hmm. hardcore. But this box is making me try things, which I love. And I... When you sign up for Bella Box, you can say if you're into makeup or more skincare, and I'm doing the more skincare sort of stuff. If you're really heavily into makeup, you can get Bella Boxes that are like a lipstick, a blush, mascara, all kinds of makeup y things. Whereas I like to get a bit of skin, hair care, and a few little makeup y things. Something I've put on smells delicious. Oh, it might be that hair thing. It smells gorgeous. Anyway, just to go through the value, so it's $19.95 a month. This little eyeshadow they had, it's cruelty-free and gluten-free, which is wicked. Um, good to blend and build up and, yeah, gluten-free, cruelty-free. And they had, the shades were Juliet, Celine, Spice Pumpkin or Miracle, and we got Juliet, and that's $15 US dollars. 15 US, so probably about 20 bucks Australian. So there's the box just in that, and I will use that. Um, don't forget there was the 40% off HelloFresh, which someone will get to use. The little Subi thing. Um, pimple emergency. Cruelty free and vegan, and three... Oh, okay, so three of these packs, and there's 18 per pack, um, $39.95. So, what, 13 bucks for that? Um, this, the Coco and Eve, this is a sample thing. It does come in a big tub that's $64.90, um, but that's a little sample, so you can't really put a value on that. The Miracle, uh, sorry, the Model Co Highlighting Summer Whip. This is actually a full size and it's 12 bucks. And that's a little sample, obviously. The, oh, that's just a bonus. That's just a bonus they chucked in. There's no mention of that anywhere. And then the Liar Wrinkle Cheetah Eye Serum. 12 mils. Is this 12 mils? Probably is. Is, um, according to this, 
it will reduce wrinkle depth by 22% when used twice daily for three weeks. Oh my God, imagine that if I did like an active layer challenge for the two weeks and then this for the three, it'll all get crazy. Um, you can use this when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. It's vegan, it's not tested on animals and it's made by hand in Australia and it's $39.95. $39.95 for that. So I think I've done very well. I think my Bella box is a ripper. No Botox was harmed in the making of this video, correct. Score. Uh, I'm not talking about your ass anymore, Mel Mel, except to say that I'm not talking about your ass anymore. But how is your ass? Um, so, um, this Bella box, I think dollar value is pretty exceptional. I'm still on a bit of a buzz and a high from the present from Active Layer. Um, there's some stuff in here that I'm really, I love doing hair shit, so I'm happy with that. And the little summer whip, I'll try that out with my fan. I love all of it, actually. And they're all products I probably wouldn't normally buy. Um, I mean, obviously I buy eyeshadows from time to time, but I'm stoked. This is a fun, happy to try this out. And if, if this and Active Layer together, who knows? I could be looking 21 in three weeks' time. But I'm going to give this particular Bella Box 28 out of 10. Because I really like it. It's got fun things in it and that hair thing smells delicious. So, yeah. Thanks, Bella Box. Any quick questions before I go? I've got to unpack my suitcase and get my butt into bed. My butt, not Mel's butt. Oh, hang on. We can't talk about Mel's butt anymore. My butt to bed. I'm going to use it all, Keza. I'm going to use it all. Product over 50 bucks worth. Is that what you're saying, D90? Pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. They always are, though, for 20 bucks. And, they like, honestly, I don't have time to work out. Oh, God, I've got a bit of a headache, Groovers. Um, I've got my basic sort of makeup stuff that I like using, but I don't have the time to go and experiment and try all these weird things. So I'm quite happy for Bella Box to send me stuff. Making me happy. You love your beard. <laughs> beard wash. So, yeah, happy days, Groovers. I'm going to get off here. I do have a bit of a headache. I think I need to eat some toast or something and get myself to bed. But it's so nice seeing all of you again. It's nice going live again, and I will be doing it more often now that I'm um, going to be home a bit more. Um, got lots of things I want to do with you, Groovers. I don't know if the whales are around at the moment, but if they are, we might have to go for a beach walk and check them out. Um, get some rest, Tori. Thank you, Megan's birdie. You're a sweetheart. And thank you, Kylie. You're awesome too. I love all of you, Groovers. Um, make up over 50 bucks. There you go. So, yeah, Vivian, um, I hope it all goes well on Tuesday with the send-off for your dad. And they do leave a giant dad shaped hole in our hearts but it sounded like he had an amazing life and i love that you're celebrating his life that's that's the way to do it i don't know why australians adopted that stiff up, stiff upper lip english style of grieving we should be more like the south americans and celebrate the life and and honor them by being i mean it's okay to be sad because you're going to miss them but you know honoring people when they go is so important um Sending lots of love to all of you too. Thank you, Megan's Birdie. And yeah, well, it's 9.26 here. So off to bed I go. Good night, Mel Mel. And hope your bum's better soon. You might want to... You might want to lance it or try some subi. I can't believe that. I've 
There's always something funny in the box. Um, I love you, Groovers, so much. Take care, everyone. Yes, Vivian's. And uh, look, I'm so glad that you came in and you got all the love and support from the lovely folk in here. Um, bye, everybody. Super sleepy, D90. We can go to bed. It's cool to go to bed really early. Love you, Groovers. We'll chat soon. It's been fun sharing some stuff with you. And um, like I always say, stay groovy. Till next time. Bye, everyone.